I'm Tony Macy. I was in this study. I was fortunate enough to be in this study. And the reason I'm standing here in front of you today is I want to share exactly what my experience was like and exactly why it's important for this sort of education to get out so we can stop having our veterans commit suicide. Um, I'm very motivated now that I got the therapy to allow this opportunity to, for other veterans. I think it's truly important that we don't have anything off the table for our veterans when they come back. And politics should be set aside. When we go to war, politics are set aside. You accept that people are going to die. For these therapies, people are dying, but we're not allowing it. We're, we're, still, uh, we're still doing the politics. We're not allowing proper research to be allowed that will actually help a lot of people. Uh, I joined the Army in 2005, right after high school, and I joined in a time where I knew I was going to go to war. I, I wanted to go to Afghanistan. I'll be upfront about that. But I accepted that I went to Iraq. And a lot of people ask me about the war and all those. And the only thing I have to say is when you're in the military, you have to follow orders. You can't pick and choose what orders to follow. So I'm not really going to get into whether the war is just or not. It's I was doing what my job was. And from that, I suffered from a lot of guilt. Like in April 12th today, uh, veterans have this word, it's called anniversaries, and it's not a good thing. This day in 2007, I lost four of my friends. And when I first got back, I didn't know how to handle it. I drank a lot. I uh, got hooked on painkillers. I hurt my back over there, and I abused them. And I just completely numbed myself out. Uh, four or five years ago, I would have never been standing up here. I would have been at a bar drinking. I would have been doing something just to numb myself. So now that I've got this, I feel motivated to talk. I feel like I need to spread this message because I can take serious every day. When it's 23 people a day, that doesn't just like tread white me, with me. I feel that. Last week, um, Monday, I was down in DC and I got to meet Ryan, the founder of Vets. And me and him, we had a lot of good talks. We went to Arlington, uh, and Arlington really, really set in and motivated me. And talking to him, we as veterans take it very serious that we have a specific creed. We do not leave someone behind. So now that I'm home and I'm not in a war anymore, I can't just leave people behind. It's not, I'm not just going to close my eyes and allow things to happen when I know that MDMA, medical marijuana, and other things can help, if not cure, some symptoms. And then the other time, we have all these prescription medications that are being prescribed and doing just as much harm, if not more. So my main passion with this is just trying to get veterans out of seclusion, um, get them to the proper therapy that they need, allow the science to let them research this and show, let it show it at face value, just because you don't like it or someone doesn't like it means it should be illegal. Every tool should be on the table right now. And that's all I want to advocate. And I'm going to be around all weekend. And I'd love for whoever has questions to come up to me and talk to me. I'm very open with talking about my experiences. And it's just, it's an honor to be here. And I can't wait for this conference. Thank you.